what is up guys today I'll be taking a look at the carbon ROM on the Nexus 4 alright so this ROM is based off of AOSP it's actually developed by the former members of the team liquid uh, ROM the liquid smooth ROM more specifically so yeah you can already know that this ROM is gonna be really great really fast really feature packed but yeah let's go ahead and get started um, it doesn't come with this wallpaper by default actually I had to download it put it on there but they do have an extras page which I'll link to in the description below but yeah guys let's go ahead and hop into settings this ROM is just so smooth guys I just really want to stress that out to you guys if you're looking for a really feature packed right there as you can see uh, ROM with like awesome speed then this is the ROM for you hands down this is the fastest ROM that I've ever used so yeah let's hop into interface as you can see we have carrier label so basically you can just edit the little label that'll show up right there right there it says T-Mobile but you can edit that and I think it'll edit your lock screen too uh, not notification drawer style so you can edit that so let's say you want to make it a little transparent you can see there that it's a little transparent I don't know if you can see that on camera but yeah I made it a little transparent but I'll keep that at 10 percent notification shortcuts I actually found these really cool I already have one applied so when we go and turn it on you can see here that when we go to our notifications I have a little sound settings click on that and it brings me straight to it so that is pretty cool um, what's also really cool is that you have Pi controls now this is a major part of the Paranoid Android ROM that I'm starting to see all the other ROMs sort of bring into and Pi controls you can just enable it right there and then bam you should be able to use Pi I think I have to enable expanded desktop so we'll get to that later but yeah you can also have a recent RAM bar so that's pretty cool um, I haven't really messed around too much with this but yeah recent RAM bar that's in there as well so that's pretty awesome. LCD density, so this is pretty cool. So I'm actually uh, not going to change it right now. I'm sure you guys know what the LCD density is and how you can change it and what it does. But yeah, basically that's in there too, so that's pretty awesome. Dual panel mode is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and enable that. All right, so I went ahead and rebooted my phone, and this is the dual panel mode. Uh, this is pretty awesome because it basically gives you a sort of a paranoid Android style or a Nexus 7 style settings menu. So this is pretty awesome. I don't know if it changes in Gmail. Let's go ahead and check really quick. And no, it does not. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back to our settings here. And then, yeah, let's go back to our interface. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can see dual panel mode, that's what I just applied to make it look like this. So that is like a major selling point in this one. And then you get expose. Expose is basically just to edit the DPI, pretty much the UA, the UI layout of all your apps and stuff so it pretty much does a, a lot, have a lot of paranoid android functionality built in here sort of paranoid android-esque not like exactly the same but very similar uh... so yeah you can do the exposed settings i'm not going to get into that because uh... it warns you that some stuff could go wrong and use them at your own risk but yeah what's really great about this rom is they can have crt screen off animation so basically you apply this there you have it now i personally don't like it so i can turn it off and then bam, it's not there. So I really like that. That's probably uh, one of the major reasons why I'm going to keep using this ROM. And basically, it's just so fast. That's why I'm also going to keep it. But yeah, I'll top on lock screen. You get all your shortcuts, all your shortcut icons. A lot of lock screen stuff is stressed about this ROM. So if you're a lock screen kind of guy, you like to edit your lock screen, then you got lots of options in here. Your standard navigation bar settings. You actually have the menu arrow down. So when you're typing, you can like press an arrow and it'll go down. So that's pretty awesome. You also get performance control. So if you're into overclocking, underclocking, whatever, then you can go ahead and mess with those. Uh, what's also really cool is that you have the power menu. So let's say you want to add screenshot to your power menu. Just hold down power, take a screenshot, and then bam. It's pretty awesome. As you can see, we also have the power widget. So we go and enable that, and we have a little power widget right up here. It's pretty awesome. You can edit like the order, the button order. Uh, pretty much whatever buttons you want. So let's say you want closed drawer, toggle, you click it, and then it closes it, click it, and it closes it. So that's pretty awesome. You can also hide the scroll bar, have haptic feedback, so that is pretty cool. And then the quick settings is pretty much this right here. Get to that, or like drag down with two fingers, so that's pretty awesome. But yeah, let's go ahead and enable some toggles. So let's say you want a GPS quick settings toggle, go and close that. Go ahead and scroll down, and you can see here that we have a little GPS toggle. That's pretty awesome. You can also edit the settings uh, to make it like a different order. You can choose how many you want per row. It's just really awesome. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, status bar. So this one is much your status bar right up here. You can edit the battery icon. So let's say you want to have an icon with percentage. 
Bam, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's say you want a dotted circle. Oh, I've never seen this one before. That's pretty cool right up there. So yeah, let's go ahead and edit the circle color to like red. That is pretty awesome. All right, uh, let's go ahead and keep it standard ICS. Is there a way to go to standard? There we go. All right, uh, you can also reset them if you like jack them all up and you just want to reset them. So that's pretty cool. Battery bar location. So let's say you want to make it. Oh, so this is the battery bar. So we got to enable this first. So let's go ahead and have it to our status bar. As you can see, it just showed up right there. We can edit the DP of it. Not sure what that stands for, actually. Charging animation, and you can choose the alignment, so that's pretty awesome. But for now, um, I don't think I'm going to have a status bar, so I'm going to hide that. All right, so let's go to our theme chooser. This is basically just like themes that you can download from the Play Store, just install like an APK, install it, and then you can apply it through here. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, that's about it. And the interface settings, really feature packs. I'm really liking it. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, as you can see, we have like a little change up on icons right here. It's pretty cool. Um, let's go to developer settings. What's really cool about this is that it's not that cool, but like it's auto enabled, so you don't have to double tap on build number seven times to unlock it. You can also go to about developers, so you can um, sort of just donate to them. Go and check out their Twitter and stuff. Go ahead and support them because without them, the ROM wouldn't exist. But yeah, that's pretty awesome how they implemented that in there. And there is no Carbon ROM Easter egg. So I don't know, they have to add that in there. But if we go to Android version, you can see 4.2.2, latest version of Android. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go home, let's go to our apps. As you can see, we have the exposed app settings. That's what I mentioned earlier of how to edit your DPI and stuff. And also the exposed installer. That reminds me, let's go ahead and enable our Pi settings really quick. Let's go over here to power menu, go ahead and enable expanded desktop. All right, expand desktop. I actually made it so that it only hides the nav bar. But just to demonstrate, here's the Pi settings. So if you want to change all your color settings on the Pi, edit the order, edit what you want on there, you can always do that. So that is pretty cool how they implemented that into the carbon ROM. So I guess that was about it. Uh, basically guys, this ROM is insanely fast. If you just want to like use it on a daily basis, just test it out. I highly recommend it. It's a really awesome ROM. Very, very similar to the Liquid Smooth ROM, which I love. And yeah, guys, that is about it. I'll talk to you all later.